What's up? My name's George. Welcome to today's demo of PDF Element 8. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new version of PDF Element while comparing it to the older PDF Element 7. To get started, I would like to demonstrate just how quickly PDF Element 8 starts up in comparison to the older PDF Element 7. So we'll first just open up PDF Element 7. You get a slight bit of a loading icon, it takes a little while and then PDF Element 8 is just lightning fast. In terms of the interfaces of both softwares, PDF Element 7 isn't exactly outdated, but a lot of the icons feel a little bit grayed out and sort of drop into the background. It's not a super colorful pop design. It doesn't feel that stand out. Whereas if we look over at PDF Element 8, we have these really nice dynamic icons, a lot more color, Everything just feels a bit more simplified and easy to navigate. At the top, when we are within an edit, we can see that our toolbar at the very top of the page is a little bit of a different layout. We have everything that's related to actually editing a document, the sort of tools we'll use on a document by document basis are all grouped together in the center, whereas the core user navigation and help sections are over to the left. Whereas previously on PDF Element 7, you had all of these in one continuous line from the left margin, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but at the same time, PDF Element 8 has cleaned up a lot of the user interface and it will be much simpler for you to use as a first time user. PDF Element 8 has an available 100 gigabytes of cloud storage, so you will never need to worry if you are gonna lose a file in between one of your devices, whether you're using a smartphone, tablet, desktop, or laptop, everything is stored within the cloud. That cloud storage is protected by a high level of cybersecurity, so you will not need to worry if you have any sensitive information in the cloud, it is safe. Much like previous versions of PDF Element, PDF Element 8 has an updated version of the OCR feature. This allows us to edit PDF forms in ways that you typically can't. At the top, you go over to Tool, and then over to the left, we have our OCR feature. Within the OCR window, we have the option of our different scan versions. So if we want to edit the text or if we want to make it more searchable, then our page range of which page we would like to perform OCR on. And then at the bottom, one of the best features in the new version is document language. So this is naturally going to select for me English because I speak English. We go down to this and we can change this to any of the listed languages here. And then that will allow you to scan a document in a different language. This can be very helpful if this is your native language or if you are trying to find a different way to translate some foreign documentation that you need to fill in. We can now see on the document that we have little boxes around everything. This means I can not only move around previously static fields, but I can also highlight and delete text and then enter in anything else that I might want. This allows us to edit any scanned document perfectly. Check out the link in the description for a free download of PDF Element 8. Be sure to like this video and leave any questions in the comments below. Until next time, I'm out.